So let's hear how this sounds. Yeah, that'll work. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time and attention. This is a recap of composing in 2662. What's the big idea and cadences? So in our last stream, we had come up with a motif model over here. And we were composing in the 2662 scale, this. Today, we started by looking at what's the big idea? We want to use sounds, words, images, ideas, concepts as the overall compositional approach. And 2662 is an unfamiliar oral palette to work with. And then we had two big ideas that we are co code labeling wisdom teeth and quantum jump. And those images are over here. This is the wisdom teeth image. And the idea is there's kind of a core and stuff. And down here, this is the quantum jump and there's orbits around the core. So, and, the, and our purpose in all this, is to have some new insights in expressing ourselves orally, which is sound, visually, which is images, eyes, and conceptually, which are the ideas. And of course, as always with music, things that sound cool. So after we reviewed these images, we said, okay, we're going to compose some cadences. Cadences are a sequence of chords that tell a story in energy. And the first story we wanted to tell was some kind of, as we said, a central core, that's this thing, from which emerge elements. And they are in some sense organic. They are pulsing like a heartbeat or breathing or something. And then we said, the second story that we wanted to tell is a, an oral image of a set of outer rings, which are these, surrounding the central core that sparkle in some kind of alternating order, flickering in and out. And then one is highlighted, then it's dimmed, another is highlighted, then it's dimmed. So those are the concepts and that we went in with and the words. So we did that. We used, um, made a new cadence model over here, and we picked chords from here. We decided to work in the motif model. We worked in, um, everything was minor, C2-6, the minor. It was, everything was picked up from up here. In the cadence model, we said we're going to, we started by working down here in the full tonality, this area, and we did. And we, we have what we call the wisdom teeth cadences up here, three of them. Then we decided to work on the quantum jump cadences, and we said, well, now we'll go back to the 2 6 minor scale. And then we did one with the 6 2 major scale, which is this. And then we kind of put both of them in the third phrase. We also experimented with our idea of words and looked words up and synonyms and things for emerging and, and broody, uh, thoughtful about something or incubating something. And so we labeled um, the different four bar phrases. We also slowed this thing down because we, went, we had to slow it down to hear the chords resonating. So we have broody, restless reaching for the wisdom teeth area, which is the idea of your teeth are budding under your gums and emerging and then reaching out. Uh, and then the quantum jump cadences where you're kind of sitting in your, you know, one of your orbits to just sitting around idle, not doing anything, but it may be accumulating some kind of energy to jump one way or the other. And then when the jump occurs, it's a very jarring type of energy. So we used words, images to go with our oral images, which we're going to listen to. So let's listen to these uh, 
wisdom teeth, first of all. So we'll pause there, do a quick little check here. Then we will do the jumping cadences. So good work, we did good work today. And then finally, we said, well, gosh, what would it sound like if you had the motifs and cadences together? And the short answer is we don't know yet because we haven't put them on the same score. But just for grins, we let's play our motif from the last stream. Also should emphasize we added the what we call the backbone to these cadences and we reminded ourselves about again our model here the the bass chords that we worked on today uh, comprised the energy the core energy story and then uh, we did play and then the backbone is where we pick out selected notes from the bass chord that we hear kind of standing out and then we deliberately repeat them right down here. So this A flat is also found up here. So it kind of dun, dun, dun. Uh, and then the backbone gives us the path forward to do a melody, which we will work on in our next stream. So we've gotten a motif model, we've gotten a cadence model, we've worked on our big ideas some more. And we've gotten some good pieces to work with. These are cadence fragments. Each one has its own label, pulsing one, two, three, jumping one, two, three. And we have a motif one at the moment in the minor scale. So we look forward to seeing you in the next stream. Thank you as always for your time and attention. And please, oh, thank you for your comments as well. Please keep on streaming.